here guys <laughs> so what's up today what are we gonna do today can i go smoke no i'm just kidding we're gonna go um and they can't see. right now it's sorry guys it's kind of dark because we're in kind of it's 6 38 right now and I don't know, we just decided to go to Ulta because I need blending brushes, so does Fanny, so. No, this bitch needs fucking. I need fucking blending brushes, bro. I need new brushes. So here we go, guys. So here we are, guys, with our. Lettuce wrapped. Burgers. Wait, is it yours with onion? Yeah, this one, this one has onion, I think. Yeah? Wow. This bitch don't like tomatoes, she don't like shit on it. Not so. right now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So this is a mukbang, I guess. Um. So. I kind of wanted to. Who do you want to go first for me? Yeah. Tell a good cheese me. Um. Yeah. I'll start off with the cheese me. Yeah. Try this new stuff at, um, Is she mad or is she mad mad? In and out. So here we're with the mukbang and we're gonna say a cheese me. So, so if you guys hear stuff in the background, our kids are with us, and you already know with kids you can never. Re they say we'll tell them to stay quiet for a bit, but they don't listen. So you know, si no soy endagañándolos, ni modo. That's fucking real life, right? Can I talk about when I gave birth to Chovy? That's a good one. It's a funny story. So. Uh, not over so what happened that day was okay it was november 19th to be exact at six at six thirty something empecé como cramping right and let's be let's be real here when you're pregnant and you feel cramping a little bit sometimes you think you need to take a shit like let's be real here <laughs> so i'm like oh i'm probably gonna like more cagar or something so no dije nada right so, so no dije nada right so um so my baby daddy, so he was going to work at six, right? And yo no le dije nada, cause I thought nothing of it. Dije, ah, ahorita voy a cagar, it's so cool. So that started, right? And it, and then um, I remember um, my nephews, it was like, así pasó, me levanté. And I told my mom, mom, I'm cramping. And she's like, a lo mejor ya es hora. <laughs> so she told me to drink um, té de, de clavos. It's like little clavitos. And she's like, échale nueve clavos en el té. Si, son, si es ya tiempo, it's gonna go fast. Mexican remedies. If it's not, se te van a quitar. Mm -hmm. Los cramps. So like, okay. So not, kid you not, like a 7.30ish, I think it was, I was drinking it. And my niece that's close to us was, I was talking to her and I was telling her, that would be funny si para el tiempo que salen de la escuela ya estoy parida. And we laughed, right? We thought nothing of it. So she left to school, whatever, and then um, you were cramping. I was still cramping, and it was getting more and more. Yeah, and then, so como las ocho, once, me empezaron más rápido. So at nine, I duré una hora like eight minutes apart los cramps. Eran ya not even cramps, guys. Eran ya los pinches dolores. So around nine, um, I'm like, fuck, I can't take this. So. I remember my mom was talking to Mexico with my aunt and then they were talking about my Dolores and shit, right? And then, um, um, I saw ahora like barely nine something. Me, me puse en el sillón and then I, like trying to get in a position that I was comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I was like, nah, it's time. Like I had a feeling like it's almost time. And I don't know when my water broke and my mom was like, <laughs> Talking to my aunt, she's like, eh, esto se la fuente. Okay, in the sala. In the living room, on the fucking couch. And then my mom's like, Lola, esta anda, se la reventó la fuente. Oh, llévenla, llévenla. So then she texts my baby daddy. My baby daddy would work like 15 minutes away from us. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. 
So she, she's the one that texts him, hey, Nancy, ya, ya está lista para parir. So literally, guys, after my fucking, se me reventó la fuente, I went in the shower to bañarme, okay? He came, and it was already like almost 10. And literally, I was like this in the car, closing my legs, and my mom's like, no, hagas eso, it's bad for you, don't do that. And I was closing my legs, I'm like, no, se me va a salir, se me va a salir. We got to the hospital. I gave birth at Regional Medical Center in San Jose. Shout out to them because that hospital was so bomb. I loved it there. So, at 10, 15, we got there. And I remember they pulled me in the wheelchair and I was like, I can't, she's coming out, she's coming out. And then the, the lady was running. And I don't know if you guys remember, about four years ago, they were renovate, they were still building it up. So they were making the elevator still. So literally, ella, like took days because um, I don't know what they were fixing. I was like, oh my God, she's coming out. So, me acostaron en la cama, and they were, you know how they inject you guys IUD and stuff for, for all that shit, for your blood pressure and all that? I didn't have time for that. Literally, the lady, the nurse pulled down my, my pajamas down, and she's like, don't push, don't push. And I was like, I can't. So, I pushed. <laughs> I fucking pushed three times. She's out. And then the lady goes, the nurse, oh, you weren't kidding, huh? And I was like, no, no, no shit, lady. I gave birth. <laughs> With no medication, no nothing. Just, I see no mas. Yeah, like, when and we left, it was like, my mom right away called me like 30 minutes. Oh, Trina has a baby. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, it was what? really fast. But it was scary, guys, because como I gave birth with nothing, like, like I lost a lot of blood. So, como perdí mucha sangre, I was really lightheaded, no. and, and they had to put a catheter on me to, um, or whatever it's called to not get up to pee because out that been devil. So that was crazy, guys. And honestly, shout out to all, all of us that like, have given birth. Because these burgers are so bomb, guys. They are good. I'm gonna start getting these from now on. We're gonna be. Healthy. So that's my cheese, anyways. And that was crazy because I was okay. Because <laughs> literally, with my firstborn, the cord was around her neck. So. It was really hard, guys. Oh, damn. The lights are not. <coughs> My freshman year. It's the first time I ever got into a fight. How did it all start? She started bugging me. Calling me all these type of names. Who? Let's call her. Tatiana. No. <laughs> bon quick quick. Let's call her Bon quick quick. Or Shanene? No, let's call her Shanene. This girl named Shanene. But she was like bullying, you know? Yeah, Como she was like, trying to make my sister like, fight. Trying her. to get me like all like this. But it was. Well, who I'm talking about? Um, Shanene. She was small, the small one. You know which one, right? There's two girls, guys. Two girls. They're home girls. They're home girls. Cholas, okay? Wanna be cholas? So it's Shanene, la Shanene. chaparra, uh -huh. y la alta como? Banquiqui? Banquiqui, just right. say that. Shanene and Banquiqui. Shanene started. Sophia, please sit back. Here. Shanene started me. She wanted to Damn. beat my ass. For no reason. Mm. For no reason. After, and then after she came up to me saying, Oh, I don't want to fight you anymore because I'm going to have a baby, this and that. I'm like, Okay. This is me. I'm like, <laughs> Okay, I don't want to fight, but all right. Okay, and mind you guys, during this time, my sister, uh, me and her went to high school together, but I got kicked out because I was a bad bitch. So I went to continuation high school. So she she was going there alone at that time. She was already like... I was already alone. Yeah. But my sister would always tell me... Shh, my sister would always tell me, though, that the, the people she hung out with or other people that knew about this, what happened, they would call her like a, you know... They would Pussy. call me that I was, yeah. That was she wasn't used. down, that I was down, that that. Era and all this. And you guys, like, yeah, we did dumb shit, but our parents were super strict, so we were scared to get suspended or anything because my dad was no joke, like, hardcore machista. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, what was I? She said that she didn't want to fight, and then after she mm. came in the, she came where we hang, hung out. And to another girl that wanted to fight me, this and that shit. Shanene and Banquiki were friends, guys. Mm -hmm. So they both wanted to fight my sister. Okay? So you guys can get what we're trying to say. She came up to me once with one of my friends. 
the Bonquiqui girl, okay? She's saying that, oh, this and that, you're a bitch, this and that. I'm like, first of all, I didn't even know her. Am I okay? I just kept it cool. And then one of my other friends started defending me. Leave her alone, she doesn't want to fight. And I'm like, I just walked away. I'm like, whatever, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to deal with this shit. So the other one, they called me and my friend to the office. Saying, oh, she's the one saying that she doesn't want to fight you, this and that. She doesn't want to fight you. So practically, it was a setup for one of the, how do you call them? The counselors, the gang, supposed gang counselors. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but in San Jose, in Wilcox High School, that's where we went. There was a gang counselor that would talk to, like, council gang members or people that hung out around gangs, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that counselor got fired because he, he would instigate fights. Fight. Whoever was cool with us, we were cool with them. We didn't give a shit who, what color, what race, what, what you claimed. So that's how it was. That's how, but those girls, um, I guess, try to pick at you because like they saw that no eras pelionera, verdad? Mm -hmm. Como quiet. Like I my sister quiet. was quiet. So what happened after? After that, that counselor that instigated that fight said that, oh, she came, she came to the office, said that she didn't want to do anything. She didn't want to fight. I'm like, okay. They made me and my friend sign a paper. I'm like, all right. So the what paper? Like a, a pa contract? Yeah, like what happened and everything. What the fuck? Like, like a report? Like literally, he instigated that fight and he set me and my friend up. Tell him I like, continue so they know. Because out of nowhere... What's her name? came up to me. <laughs> Why are you snitching this and that? I'm like, it my. That's when I was fed up and told her, it wasn't me. It was your fuck. It was Shanae. <laughs> Tell her. Let her know. And then the gang counselor was there. He was there up to. He said, I can't do anything. Once, this was. This is the literally. This is literally pussy. How I say pussy action. Pussy action. Just turn. I turn my head. Literally, instead of me, instead of her hitting me face to face, face, to face. she literally grabbed my hair. From behind, guys. From so behind. She, like this. So I'm like, okay, f this. I defended myself. I don't know what happened. I blacked out. But what I've known. It was I, a video, but I saw it, but it got deleted. <laughs> that All I know is I got up. I seen her bleeding from I don't know where. People say they couldn't get me off of her. I'm like, may I? But you were a pussy, right? Yeah, but everyone, oh, Fanny, you got her, you got her, you got her. I'm like, the ones that were calling me pussies, I'm like, the fuck? And then during this time, they sent her to the office. And one of our friends from our, my previous vlog that I talked about, our friend, best friend, Segun, calls me. Wait, 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 let me go back. Shanene. And Banquiki tried to jump her though. Both of them got in. Oh, yeah. La Chaparra y la Alta. So that's when uh, one of her friends, we're not going to say her name, because we, obviously, but honestly, out of all friends we had, like, I can't believe she actually went in for my sister. Because that was stupid. Like, they tried to jump my sister. So, of course, the other girl went in too. So, that's, how, that's my point. When they were sending my sister to the office, that's when that my friend calls me and she goes, Nancy, your sister just got in a fight. And I'm like, what? And I was home because I'm mala de las anginas. So I couldn't talk, but I was super mad. I'm like, what do you mean she got in a fight? She goes, yeah, with that girl that was picking on her. So I told my mom, right? And we're like, what? ¿A qué hora pasó esto? She goes, like, like, literally, like, just like 10 minutes ago. And then she's been in the office. I'm like, why haven't they fucking called us, though? So that's when I was like, vamos, vamos. So we went. But anyways, before we got there, what happened? When you went to the office. Yeah, they... Um, the cops were involved, huh? Yeah, the cops got involved and shit. Oh, for some reason. Because they thought it was gang affiliated. Because it was gang affiliated. I'm like, it wasn't. And they tried to suspend me because they said that I instigated the fight. So something like that. I'm like, uh-uh. They came up to me. They came to me. I turned around. I defended myself. She grabbed me, so I defended myself. Exactly. And the cop even said... The cop even said, even I made. wouldn't suspend her because she defended herself. Thanks to that cop, my sister didn't get suspended because they wanted to suspend her. So, right, I was writing my statement now, and then I turn yeah. around, I see my sister and my mom, I'm like, Okay, that's when I want to say what happened. Mine, I'm like, okay. Yeah, 
when we were in the office, I saw, um, what, what's the short girl? Shanene sitting there. Shanene. She knows she, we're sisters, right? So I go in the office, yeah, yeah, Shanene yeah. sitting there outside of the fucking, um, next to the principal's yeah, yeah, office. I don't know where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's sitting like this, guys, yeah, yeah, like this, yeah, with yeah, a yeah. smirk on her face, like, looking at me. I fucking go, go fast yeah, up yeah. to her. My mom is like, calmate, calmate. Like, we don't, we don't need you guys to get in trouble. Yeah. Like, calm. But I'm just like, bitch, like, what are you smirking at? Like, you think you're the cool, you think you're the shit or what? Like, I'm sorry, guys, like, we don't fight, but I'm not into that jumping thing. Like, that's not okay. Like, I would never, <laughs> jumping could be the worst fucking feeling ever. <laughs> so my sister was writing out her statement, and we talked to the, the cop, and he was like, yeah. To me, it was self-defense. I would literally do the same thing and, and defend myself. So that's why, and, and my mom, like, fought with the principal not fought but told the principal like what kind of school are you that my daughter got in a fight and you don't even call me like we found out from a friend so if you don't call us we you don't we don't know about it like what's going on here yeah and this is where the counselor comes into our story the counselor saw the fucking fight guys he was there but he and literally he, said he wasn't there he didn't he, see he what happened. basically told my sister to say that he wasn't there so he couldn't get in trouble he literally didn't do shit to stop the fight. He was there looking at them. Like, from behind, like... And f that. We're like, hell no. So I guess we... we uh, how did it happen? They knew about it? Like, you no, told them? No, they knew... Oh my, they knew the, he was instigating fights. Like, they saw... Because there's, there's been various peop parents that have gone and, and told yeah, them. Yeah, they have issues with that guy. Yeah. So I guess they kicked him out. They fired him because he was, like, in, like you know... Como dicen cholo, cholo, um, cholo verbs. It was, he was a leva because he was going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> he was a leva, cholo straight up. Terms. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bitch, you eating both fucking animal fries. They're bomb, guys. Yeah, but that's fucking crazy, like, um, I feel like, Many um, many people in high school would try to fight you for no fucking reason, like, no más para sentirse chingonas. I know, like the fuck. And all I know is that I learned. That's what I told my niece. Never fucking lift, let your guard down because you might think someone's your friend. Y la mera hora, vale madre. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say that I was genuine to people. There was a dark place in my life where I was stupid and did like um, drink and did shit, but no one knew why. No one asked me, Nancy, why do you do that? Nancy, que tienes? Nobody. The only one that actually heard me out and stuff, my sister would see me, but obviously she couldn't do shit about it. The one that actually sat down and talked to me was my mom, obviously, my mom, and told me, you know what, Nancy, I'm done. And this hurts. She's like, I'm done. Esta la última vez que te voy a decir algo. Ya lo que tu pinche gana. She told me like that. And the reason why, guys, I drank, it might not be an excuse for you guys, but the reason why was because I felt alone in the sense of, like, I felt like my real dad didn't care about me. My father, you know? And not just that, but I felt, like, fucked up inside because my, my stepdad wouldn't let us do anything. So I would escape my reality, I guess you can say. Yeah. And this, this is true shit. Like I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating anything. It's real. I was in a dark place at a time in my life. And in my sister's skins, I remember one time, her chambelanes saw me. I came home, and I was hella like gone. Like I was so drunk and stupid. But I got my shit together. Went to con continuation high school. And got two freaking um. For like scholarships and I fucking went to college, I got my shit together. So uh, if any teenagers are watching us and if you think you, you can't do shit with the life, yeah you can. Yeah, my daughter right here. I'm sorry I'm eating like a fat ass, but these are so good. No, you were you were talking? I was literally eating my first <laughs> eating like a fat ass. I even looked at it and looked at you and like fuck I finished it. We're well, here trying to pose or something. Swear you think you're cool. Get you a But could we talk about uh, how dumb of us some females were yeah, in high school yeah, yeah, dating yeah, dumbass yeah. guys? Ugly can we just talking about that? Deja todo lo feo, aparte de feo pendejos. 
I go back in time, I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? God, these niggas are No mames, que verga estaba pensando yo. <laughs> and I'm not talking, I'm more into personality, I don't really care about looks. If you're, uh, like, what's the point of me having a fine ass dude si me va a tratar like shit and he's gonna fucking yep. look, como me, me va a tratar como pendeja, like, nah. But what I'm, what I'm referring to is, like, in high school, I would date guys that literally like i'll try to get on my friends like what the fuck was that like is it high school guys. so like we said we went to ulta so we're gonna do a haul of what we got yep. so you go first oh. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting earlier, guys. It's because we were literally doing a mug bang in our mm -hmm. in my sister's truck. So yeah, now hard. we're home. Now we're home, so we're gonna do this. Okay, well, I got this Morphe brush. I feel like taking it off. Then we're we'll using it tomorrow. So this Morphe brush, this M four four one. It's a little bomb to um to blend, guys. See. And I got these Kiss Lashes, the Lash Contour in Mush. Muse? Muse or Mush? Muse. <laughs> Guys, they were on sale, so they're buy one, get one 50% off till the 7th. Mm -hmm. So, so I got this. I got the lash glue. Cause I was running out. I'm not gonna lie. Who else uses this shit? Cause this that is, shit is good. our fucking favorite glass glue, guys. It's fucking bomb. It's the kiss one that has the um sabi line in it. The, and it's a strip lash. Yeah, it's fucking bomb, guys. Like it's super. Stay on all day. Strong hold. Yeah. Literally strong holds. And I got this um, BH Cosmetics palette. Take me back to Brazil. It's like that. I got it. This. It's just a little fucking. What how they package it? Awesome. I mostly got the colors for the for the pinks because I feel like doing a glitter one because I didn't have another color blended with the pink glitter yeah. glitter that I got. It's cute or whatever. Guys, look at my hand. This is what happens when you go to Ulta. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have to be because she always uses me. Today, guys, I had kind of like makeup on, but usually I'll be playing around with shit. <laughs> Yes, todo? Yeah, that's okay. Damn, that's sad. <laughs> so, this is what I got, guys. So, who has used this shit? Because I was looking for the, you, uh, what the hell was I going to say? The Ulta Beauty um, stuff, right? So, I went on, um, so I went on Ulta site and I saw, like, good ass reviews. It's this one. And it has fucking 30 milliliters. And tell me why the cover effects one is $38. And it's the same fucking amount as this one. And this one's $18. It's kind of still fucking expensive to me. But I still got it. And then... I got the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. In the shade Fair 04. Fair? Fair 04. Bitch, you white as hell. That's not fair. Yeah, guys, I don't... Like Ulta. Guys, I don't like, um... Wait, open it for me? I don't like fucking... Because I got my nails on this. I don't like white-ass prime, uh, yeah, concealers. So this is how it looks like. And then, uh, let me do a swatch on my finger. See? There's whiter than this, guys. But I'm like, that's no manches. But for fucking cut creases, it's the chido. Maybe I might try it. And then I got the, um, Essence Long Lasting liner this is bomb for under eyes guys oh my god they were gonna swatch it then i got a morphe m105 brush to contour and then i got the morphe you got the one as well. m513 brush to blend because a bitch likes to blend her shit y luego el m441 so that's it guys like we did a, we didn't buy that much shit we just what we needed I want to get all the brushes, but I'm like, there wasn't. There yeah. wasn't. There's like the set. Yeah. Now I wanted to get them all separate, but there's no set, so I feel yeah, like we're not lying. 
See, this is the color of the concealer. Color pop. Getting awesome. Well, I guess that concludes our vlog for today, guys. We had, I had to cut off the video because there was a creepy ass dude, huh? Yeah, like so No, me all vlogging, I guess, and he was curious. He was hella oh, turning, dude. like, hella times. I'm all over here talking shit. The video's gonna be right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do a little bit of it because I don't know who the fuck that was. I, mean, I know, in a black fucking car, huh? Yeah. And then I rolled down my window out of nowhere. They rolled down theirs. I'm like, okay. Like, we were talking about jumping and fights, and I don't know where that happens. Like, what the fuck? Bad luck comes to us. I know. But, yeah. but it's currently 9.23, so I'm going to be ready to go to bed in a bit. Not even, just to chill, huh? So tell us what should we do next, guys, in the comments. Give us fucking suggestions. Either we're going to vlog for Saturday, no? Yeah. So, guys, today is um, Thursday. Yeah. Saturday at Shop Glamify Me Store in Modesto Vintage Fair Mall. Morillo nice. twins are gonna be here. We're so fucking excited. We have VIP. Uh, I've been wanting to fucking meet them. Yes. And I got VIP. We got both of us, obviously. This bitch one. Yes. So we're gonna go see them and we can't wait to vlog, take pictures, and tell you guys how it goes. So stay tuned for Sunday. I'm gonna post it on Sunday. So we're gonna record Saturday and then edit it. Is and this gonna Sunday. be up tomorrow? Yeah. Friday. So today's Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. You're gonna see this video. Mm -hmm. So give us new suggestions and then um maybe my mom's gonna come this weekend. So we wanna record a video in Spanish. That'll be fun because she has hella Ooh, her stories are pretty from the rancho. So let's just say my mom is an OG. So thanks for watching guys. So Thank hello, you. goodbye. <laughs>